this is a uh, Ruger 1022 you hear so much about, and it's okay, but it's uh, not perfect yet. You can uh, break it down. If you haven't seen these already, check out the other videos on them. There's lots of them out there. But, I was thinking it could be better. So, found one of these. And this is the old-fashioned Ruger 1022s with the Butler Creek folding stock. So, if there was some way to merge these two together, that might be just the ticket. Let's see what we can do. So, I guess we got them here together. Let's take a look on this. This is an old standard 1022 with the stainless and this stock. I guess you bought this all together as one piece? Yeah. From Kmart or Walmart? No, I swapped stocks on it. Oh, you got the stock at Walmart? No, I got the stock at a local gun shop. Why are you pointing the gun right at the camera? That's dangerous, isn't it? Uh -huh. You ever heard of cleaning your gun? Look at the end of this. I'm glad I'm not swapping barrels. Holy mm -hmm. moly. That's filthy. What's this? This is Arizona. Land and no rust. Uh-huh. Nice. I'll have to do some frog lube into that. Will you keep it in a lake? Maybe. It's and stainless. I wanted to see how it. stainless it was. Yeah. You let Haas bury this for you? Perhaps. Anyway, so I'm thinking that these two stocks are pretty much the same. The big question is, are they going to fit on these? Can we swap them out? So we're going to judge first just by looking from outward appearances. Look pretty good. Looks like that's it's gonna line right up, no? I think so. So hopefully we'll be able to just take this stock off, chop it, and swap it onto that one. A couple of the differences, we've got the stainless uh, like stock whatever that is, loop. Yeah. This one's just is this plastic? It's plastic. This loop is plastic and the, the screw and the nut there is metal, but plastic. I guess that works. And we've got a plastic trigger guard on the takedown. Got the oversized mag release, which is kind of handy right away. They still have the old style mag release when you got this one, I guess. Yeah, mine's all, all aluminum though, or whatever, stainless. This? Yeah. I think that's stainless or aluminum? I'm pretty sure it's, uh, I think it's aluminum. Nope, definitely not magnetic there. It is magnetic on the side, however. Your barrel's magnetic. Huh. Imagine that. So I guess we'll have to grab a screwdriver then and start uh, stripping the stocks off. That won't be a problem though. Nope. Mm. Alright, looks like we just need to take a hacksaw out of this. Alright, so I guess we'll cut this and we'll just measure off of the uh, mag wells. And we'll just do a cut so that we can start getting the other side attached. About right, there's a little difference on the inside there. I don't see any difference on the receivers though, so. I don't think any of those parts or pieces are necessary. So, I guess we'll cut it right around there. Oh, it's okay, it's not my barrel. Oh, okay. Oh. Amazing. Alright, well, so we just have to sort of clear off a little bit here from the cutting. And then it needs this notch for that kind of weird lug thing to fit into on the side there. And since this is solid, yeah, I'll definitely just be cutting it out. A little bit deeper cut. Right in that time.
put the screw in. That seemed to work just fine. Now let's see if the rest of it will go together. Not too bad. Does it match up? Well, pretty close. Not a hundred percent. From a distance though, doesn't probably doesn't look too bad. You probably can't tell. On top of that, you still have this one. Polish it up and slide it back in place. Well, you think this one will just continue through? Yeah. This has got to be, see, it's all this though. Well, you'll have to dremel that out. I don't think I can make this well out of it. I could cut that away and it would be a big hole, but I think this is going to look a lot better. I really don't care at all what this looks like. I don't hold it there and I really don't care what it looks like. But what I do like now, let's zoom out, is that when it's folded up like this, it'll be that big in a bag. And plus I'm gonna chop, what, four inches off the barrel still? Make it 20, make it 16 exactly to thread it. That'll be a nice little compact package. So there's my uh, 1022 takedown mod for the cool folding stock. Almost the way I want it. Definitely a little cooler than it was before though. I'm still not a big fan of this pistol grip, so I'm already thinking about how I'm going to chop that off and put a better pistol grip on there, one I like more. And then of course we're chopping the barrel off a little bit. Takedown 22, collapsible stock mod. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals at GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year. Practice at least once a month and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.